Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcaps have got the usual mix of welding, plasma cutting, lathe work, mill work, little bits of everything, especially in part two. Part one is nearly all machine work. I get a lot more done to the little clutch for the knife and lead screw. I had an amazing response for the drones I offered for the, um, the, the wedge type machine as Jack. I've sent hundreds of sets of drones off. I was getting sick of sending emails. Anyway, if people do make them, it would be good if you could send us a picture in of what you've actually made. Um, I'll probably choose the best one that you can send to me. <laughs> no, but honestly, if you want to set the drones for the machinist Jack, just send us an email. I'll send the drones off. Um, a nice little project. Certainly well worth doing. A while ago, I did these uh, double boost T-slot cleaners. They weren't quite as big as that. I've had quite a lot of people asking if I would do one with just a bottle opener on that end but having the same anti-fly off handle, the same bell end type handle. If you want one, if I get enough response here I'll, I'll do a drone and I'll cut some out. So if you want a one just send a message saying you know you would, would like a one and um, I'll do something, I'll put them on eBay. Next I'm going to make these two little screws. I might as well use stainless and keep it all the same. Certainly better grade of stainless than the last nasty stuff I've played with. Got some six mil threads on the end of here. Just about there. <coughs> Useless. <laughs> yeah. Not the best in the world either. Right, really. change of plan. I'm going to do a quarter hour left because I've got a good quarter hour left die. I don't know what's happened to me. Decent six mil die. I did have a one. I had a really good six mil die nut. It's possibly at work. That's quarter, just a, a funny hair under. Right, this is a quarter on F die. A real one, not a cheap and cheer you one.
Right, then I've actually managed to put some threads on. Right, so that's the difference between decent tooling and rubbish. I'm going to turn the die around because it knows you had a little bit deeper with the die the other way around. Right over the shoulder. Right, so that's starting the other way now, and that will go right up to the top of the shoulder. Nice sharp, clean threads. Right, this is 14 mil bar, and I want to turn down to down to 10 for a depth of four. So I've pierced off. Put some of that face. Touch it off. It's a one mil cup, you take it out to 12. Take it down to 10. Nasty rag on there, I want to remove. Ten mil. You find the whole other. That's just let it the screw head with the slot in so I'll part that off in one of our thickness I feel looks right. Obviously a blood tip. Just gonna put a radius on there before we part it off. That tip look good as well. Get in there, just <coughs> right, let's go for it. Constant even pressure, once it starts cutting, it feels you're not to back off. I mounted a piece of bar with a quarter here and I hole in into a square collar chuck just to hold it and I've screwed in the little screw we've been making so I can put a slot in it. I could just use a hacksaw but I might as well use the machine I've got available to us. You can find the centre so I'm just going to gently Bring this up and turn the spindle by hand till I feel it rub. Cigarette paper has also work. Just rubbing there so we'll zero the Z axis. Just touching there. This needs to be run extremely slow, it's basically just a revolving hacksaw blade.
That looks nice. I think that's a better fit. Make sure that's a little, a little screw. Once you burn. Little bits like that when you're making a when you're making a tool, it's nice to have little one off hand made parts like that. You could just put a little bull through but it will make a job of it I think. This is really a woodworking machine. Um, I used to use it for pattern making, but it is ideal for sand and steel as well. That's an 80, grit, 80 grit wheel on there, it does make a nice job. The longer you spend, obviously, with the file, tying this up, the better it's going to be. But you can get a real nice finish draw filing like that. I need to put a 10mm hole in the bottom of here for that little screw we made to go through. I haven't got the distance between these two holes. It's not on the drawing, so he'll have to do that himself once he makes a little bottom bracket. That hole there where it says 13 is actually the width of the little adapter I've got to make. It fits in that slot. I think it's just held in with a 4mm nut. Right, so I'm through my little gears perfect fit. <laughs> 